Hi, I'm Taronish Pithawala, Technical Lead for Geophysical Modeling at Geosoft. This episode is two of a five-part series on inversion best practices. In this video, you'll learn about acceleration settings in Voxy and how they can improve the inversion of large datasets. If you missed the introductory video and the episode on auxiliary information, check them out online or continue on. With the improvements in computational power due to cloud computing, it's now becoming more common for geoscientists to create Earth models from large, regional-scale datasets. Keeping with the best practice theme of the web series, this episode will focus on acceleration settings the geophysicist can choose to create better inversion models as efficiently as possible. I will limit the scope of this episode to gravity and magnetic potential fields, as these are the data types supported by Voxy at the time of presentation. Before introducing these settings, I'd like to quickly recap what our expectations as geoscientists should be when dealing with large-scale 3D models of gravity and magnetic data. You'll recall that the gravitational field observed at some point P due to some source at a distance R scales as the inverse square of the distance. The magnetic field observed due to some dipole source scales as the inverse cube of the distance. What follows from these scaling relations are the expectations that the model elements have negligible contributions to the surface response past a certain distance, and that the ability to resolve fine structures decreases with depth. Using the first corollary to our advantage, we can reduce the computation time by safely saying that a voxel element far from an observation point has no contribution. In Voxy, this is quantified by a radius of influence that is applied cylindrically throughout the model space. An observation point centered at the top of the cylinder affects only the model elements within that cylinder. The default radius of influence in Voxy is 1000 kilometers. At most scales, this effectively means that all model elements contribute to a given observation point. For very large inversions, computation time can be drastically reduced by lowering the radius of influence to one half to two times the longest wavelength. In this way, you're able to spend more time interpreting your result rather than computing it. Care should be taken not to use too small of a radius of influence as this will cause significant artifacts in the inversion result. In inversion modeling, the potential field at every observation point due to each model element is calculated. Storing the complete expressions for these fields can be computationally demanding. To ease the load, the field is approximated with wavelet compression. In some instances, this can create numerical noise in the inversion. When the response of a model element is very, very small, for example, from an element deep in the model, the numerical noise can outweigh the element's signal. In Voxy, the computational accuracy is a measure of how closely the wavelet compressed approximation fits the full solution. Our second corollary was that the farther the source from the sensor, the less structure we should be able to resolve. Therefore, we should expect some degree of smoothness in the deeper parts of our model. The numerical noise in deep parts of the model can sometimes manifest in apparent structure. The interpreter should be cautioned against placing any importance in these erroneous inversion details. You can reduce the computational accuracy threshold in Voxy to make the approximation fit the full solution more closely. Doing this reduces the numerical noise, as seen in this example. At depth, where the signal to numerical noise ratio is low, the artifacts due to the approximation are evident. Closer to the surface, where the signal to numerical noise ratio is higher, the noise is unseen. Reducing the computational accuracy threshold by a factor of two results in a model that is expectedly smoother at depth, yet is unchanged near the surface. That's because the computational accuracy threshold ensures a better fit to the potential field solution, not a better fit to a particular gradient like smoothness. The default computational accuracy threshold in Voxy is 0 0.002. This is an optimized threshold that quickly gives accurate results for most depths of investigation. If you see artifacts at depth and would like to reduce the numerical noise in your model, we recommend lowering the threshold to 0.001. It should be noted that this is not absolutely required. 
The end result is simply a model that won't be easily misinterpreted as having fine structure at depth. Also, keep in mind that reducing the computational accuracy threshold will reduce the speed of inversion, and a threshold that is too small will take an inordinate amount of time to compute, with no pragmatic benefit. This episode of our Inversion Best Practice web series focused on the acceleration settings used to optimize the inversion of large datasets. I explained two key parameters that control the speed and accuracy of your inversion models. Our next episode will present the vector components of magnetization vector inversion results and how to use them effectively in your interpretations. Stay tuned for more.